Hello everybody, we are back with the second half of our Thread Up shoebox. So, let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a Poshmark Closet along with my wife Angelique. Uh, the closet is called the Deegans, and links for it will be in the description below. All right, now, as promised, I found the um, invoice for the thread up box, um, so I can say that this this was 25 pairs of shoes, and it cost us 120 dollars. So that's that works out to a little under five dollars per pair. So trying to remember the last box and there were a couple pairs in there that weren't great but there there were some there were also some really good ones so I'm not too worried about making our money back on the box it's just a question of how much we're actually going to profit all right up first we have a pair of sketchers uh, these are some pair of mules they are a size, well, size 25, size US 6. I don't know what that 25 was. Um, hmm. Anyway, they are a size 6. And they are a pair of mules with a kind of a fur lining. Um, the material tag does say that it's it's fake for um, all man-made materials, but uh, oh wait, uh, not all uh, leather upper balance. So this top part right here is leather, but the rest of it is all man-made. All right, I actually feel really soft on the inside, so those will be a nice comfort, comfort uh, nice comfortable pair of shoes. Okay, up next we have, let's see, Sentada, Sanita, Sanita. Uh, these are size 38, uh, they're Danish design, and they're, mm, they're a pair of shoes. I'm not sure what, um, and they're kind of a dress shoe but not really I don't know what I don't know what um, you'd call this style uh, almost almost like a clog except for it's not wooden um, it is upper leather and uh, lining is balanced man-made uh, size 38 so that's the European size um, in really good condition so leather and in really good condition so that's definitely a nice solid pair of shoes all right up next we have a pair of LL Bean yeah. and these are a pair of uh, I don't know if you'd call that pointed toe because it's a little bit rounded uh, we'll call it rounded pointed toe uh, they're a pair of heels. Now these heels do look a little bit shorter than usual, but that might just be because the shoe's a little bit longer. Let's see if I can find the... They are a size 11. Um, I don't see... I don't see materials, but I... So I just see that it's size 11, made in Brazil. Um, and I guess that's a made on date. They're made on the... 30th of November in 2011. Maybe. <laughs> and these do have a little bit of wear on the back, um, but other than, and the the soles are kind of worn. And um, yeah, some wear on the heel too. So a little bit worn. Um, and we will have to, um, we will have to scrub these down with the magic eraser or the uh, cleaning kit um, 
because they do have some like something on this one toe all right up next we have another pair of ll beans these are a pair of mules um with kind of a i don't know if I mean, it looks like wood, but it's probably not actual wood. Um, they're size seven and a half. I, again, don't see material, but I do see that they're made in Brazil. On September 13th, 2010. Um, and they're a pair, of, a pair of mules with kind of a fake wood, um, fake wood heels. Um, rubber on the bottom so it won't slip. And... The one interesting part is they have these little lobsters on the side. Um, so I don't know if they're a pair of, um, I guess they're a pair of boating shoes. Um, yeah, that'd make sense with the rubber on the sole so they don't slip. The They have kind of a nautical theme to them. So we'll just call them the L.L. Bean nautical themed mules. The old sea mules. Okay, now getting into some shoes that I know are good. We got a pair of, if I can angle it right, I can't, uh, Steve Madden's. A pair of Steve Madden wedges. Um, they are a size, well, they are a size. Um, that size, however, is not listed on the shoe on Oh, wait, there it is. It is a size 6 uh, man-made synthetic materials. Um, so, I like these because, one, they've got the snake skin. Right now, animal print is in. And I don't know if that applies to snake skin. I, I consider snakes animals, but... Some people don't. Some of those people... Some of those people are Indiana Jones. Anyway, they're Steve Madden's. They're animal print. They're wedges. Wedge sandals. Going into, going into the warmer months. Those should do nicely. Okay, moving right along. We have a pair of Austins. Um, and these are a size 9 uh, textile upper, and they're just a pair of fabric uh, slip-ons. Uh, they're not quite slippers. They're definitely a shoe that's made not for just lounging around. Um, yeah, not much to say about them. Um, I've never heard of Austin. Um, I've never... I don't know that this style of shoe is particular does particularly well or not um but we shall see watch those will end up being the ones that sell for the most okay up next we have a pair of attentions um these are a us9 european 30 they are made in brazil they're a size 38 in brazil And they're a pair of sandals. Um, not quite a pair of flip-flops. They do have the sling on the back. So a nice pair of sandals um, with a pretty neat pattern around the around the toe. Um, so that'll that little bit of pink. Yeah, they should they should definitely catch someone's attention <laughs> oh boy <laughs> okay if we can if I can stop making bad jokes we'll continue with a pair of Alex and Alex or Alex plus Alex uh, um, hmm. these are a pair of wedges um, they do do they have a size on them? I do not see. I do not see a size in any of the typical places, so we will have to measure them. Um, comparatively, they look like. 
I'd say they're probably a nine, but we'll measure them because the angle the angle looks a little bit shallower, so that might be throwing me off. Anyway, um, they are a pair of mules. They have the cork board for the or not a pair of mules. They're a pair of wedges with cork board for the most part, but then they do have that um, kind of that bat that basket weave um, on the top and bottom, and then. On the top, that looks like... Oh, wait, there's a size at the bottom. Hey, hey, I was right. Nines. Did I say ten? I'll have to go back. I was close. They're also made in Brazil. Um, I don't see the material, so I don't know if this top is real leather or not. Um, going off the feel, it doesn't feel like real leather. Um, so it's probably just man-made material, but nice pair of nice pair of wedges going into the warm months. Okay, up next we have a pair of Chinese laundry, um, Los Angeles. Um, they are, if the sticker on them is to be believed, they are a size seven, um, and they are guess that they're open-toed heels. I don't know. Again, I need to get this chart that my wife keeps telling me to, she's going to um, send me that has all the different like style terminology. So I'm not sure. I don't think that's considered a sling because it has the, because it's coming from the back and then going around. I think it has to actually go from the front and then wrap around the back to be considered a sling, but I don't know the terminology, so we'll just call these a pair of black heels. Um, black heels are always nice to have because they're, how did my wife put this? She said they are a essential shoe, I believe was her exact wording, um, and basically that means that it's a shoe that every woman needs. Um, so always good to sell something that everyone needs. Okay, up next we have a pair of Jessica Simpsons. These are flats with a um, flower pattern. I don't think, no, those don't look like roses. So they're just some kind of flower pattern on the front. If the sticker is to be believed, they are six or 36 if you are in the European countries. Um, these shoes apparently also have a patent pending, although what you would patent on a shoe, I do not know. Shoe technology has been around for millennia, more than a millennia. I think there's cave paintings of people wearing shoes. Not these shoes though. Anyway, nice light shoe. Um, it does have this, uh, which I guess wraps around your ankle somehow um, for security. But it's a nice light shoe that should do well in the summer. Okay, and which one do I want to save for last? I guess next I'll do this pair of Merrill sneakers. Well, not, I don't know if these are soccer sneakers. They look like a pair of running shoes. Um, yeah, they are performance footwear. Uh, US size 10, flat bottom. Well, not quite flat bottom, they do arch up the heel. Yeah, I've ne you know, it's another brand I've never heard of. Um, they look they look like running shoes um, just because, or maybe even like, uh, maybe even like, um, maybe even like a pair of like swim shoes. No, they're not. They don't, they're too heavy to be swim shoes, but definitely something you could run in outside, um, step in some puddles and they look like they breathe pretty well so they'll keep your feet nice and cool. Um, 
they are also patented so apparently I'm just out of the loop on shoe patents because I thought shoes have been around for a while but maybe you got some material or maybe you got some kind of a uh, some fancy way that they've um, sewn it so that it breathes as well as it does all right and the last pair the last pair are Vitaretta pair of Vitarettas. They are made in Spain. These are a size 39, um, so I'm assuming that's the Spain size. And they're a pair of open-toed mules. Um, they do have this cloth um, strap around the ankle. Um, let's see, anything else about them? Well, there's two of them. See that? Again, another brand I haven't heard of. Um, but open-toed mule nice nice shoe for the warmer months so I'm happy about that all right there are a lot of brands in there that I've never heard of that um, yeah and my wife really didn't get too too excited when she opened up the box so I gotta say this is probably one of the first thread up boxes that I've been a little bit disappointed in. I don't think we'll have any problem making our money back, especially with some of the stuff that was in the first half of the haul. Um, but uh, just nothing in there that really pops out and excites me. All right. And on that downer of a note, I have uh, uh, one second. All, if you if you did like any of these shoes, links to everything will be in links to everything will be down below. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I almost forgot to mention that if you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you. Right, we were a little touch and go at the end, but uh, we pulled out of it. Um, check out some of these other videos to see just how common me being touch and go is. All right, bye.